Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I'm going to be touring the excitement. This home is called the excitement, you guys. I thought I toured it before, but I guess not. This is the excitement. Love the pretty green. You probably can't even tell it's green from um, this video, but I love the pretty melon green vinyl. Let's go into the house and see what we got here. So, very, really open. We don't have any furniture in this one. I didn't pay attention, it might be sold. But this is your living room. This is where I came in. Anytime there's a vault in the ceiling, it excites me. I love the vault in the ceiling. Okay. So this is the living room. All right, the living room overlooks the kitchen. Don't have an island in this one, which is kind of rare. Most houses do have, but I love how much space you have here. You can actually put a huge table here in the middle. You can add your own island <clears throat> and still have room for a table. So you could do a lot in this kitchen. You can put your table area on that side, put your island in the middle, just whatever you like. You got cabinets and counter space over here. You have space for two drawers. Just a really open kitchen. Really open kitchen. You can put a deep freezer in here or in the utility room. You can do it just, it's about maximizing the space, y'all. So I could see me adding an island. You can go to Ikea or anywhere and get an island that goes in here or you can order one um similar to the cabinets or a different color it's up to you but you got a lot of open space here that you can really maximize and make it your own all right so here's the back door your washer and dryer go there you could put a large washer and dryer there it's a big space and then you got your cubby hole back here for whatever you like, whether it's deep freezer, desk, shelving, anything. Whatever you like could go there. So that's a lot of space, you guys, for a utility room. Been seeing some big utility rooms here today. So really awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Off the living room, on this side of your guest bedrooms, you have guest bedroom number one, which is right here at the living room. Again, not my preference. I'd like it to be down a little hall, but you know, there's a home for everybody. So, you know, if this doesn't bother you, it's a nice size room. No carpet in the closet. I'm gonna go over here so you can really see how big the room looks. I always like to do the floor so you can see how big the space is. So that's one of your guest bedrooms. And then right here down in this little hall is guest bedroom number two. Awesome. Never enough shelving. You should bring it around to maximize the space. You got it there, but if you bring shelving around here, this closet would be a lot bigger. So that's a nice size closet. All right, so three bedroom, two bath. You got two guest bedrooms over here. Here's your bathroom. Too bad it doesn't have a transom window. It could bring in some additional lighting. All right, let's go take a look at the master bath. Hopefully, master bedroom, hopefully my battery won't die before I do it. So you got the master bedroom here. Nice space for your master bedroom. That's your master bedroom. And then this is your master clock, 
master bathroom and closet. You've got your sink here. So you got one sink in here. Garden tub and shower combo. Toilet behind the door. And then your master closet is around here. Long closet. Awesome. Hopefully there's some pictures online that I can really show you what the house looks like all done up. But we'll see. Again, this is the excitement. It's a brand new 2020, 1,158 square feet. Cost of this house is $59,995. That's the excitement. $59,995. All right, subscribe, like, share, comment. Welcome to the family. Thanks for watching the Mobile Home Diva. My battery, I made it. Love you guys. Bye-bye.